Today we're going to make a Thanksgiving leftover sandwich. That is the stupidest intro. No, but seriously, the ingredients you're going to need for this sandwich are some bread, some leftover turkey, sweet or mashed potatoes, your stuffing, some gravy, cranberry sauce, and then totally optional, but I like to add a little bit of freshness, so I got some kale right here. You know, after I eat all this, I'm going to feel like a fiatty. So before you get started on the cooking, the first thing you're going to want to do is do your prep work. So what I did is I'm going to thinly slice my turkey. I got four slices right here. Uh, you're going to take some of your stuffing and form it into a patty. We'll show you what to do with that in a second. And then you're going to uh, thoroughly rinse and chop up your vegetables, if you got any. And then you're going to want to heat up your gravy. You can do it on the stove top if you, the stove top if you like. But I am lazy, so I'm just going to do it in the microwave. And now I want to surprise you all with a new camera angle. I got a new setup at Walmart uh, yesterday, so I just wanted to try it out. I'd say it's working pretty good. But uh, the very first thing we're going to do with the cooking is we're going to take our pan on medium heat. Take some of our nonstick spray or any kind of cooking fat. I'm just using this because it's convenient and quick. We're going to take our two slices of bread here. I got some nine grain wheat. We're just going to toast it. Now we're going to give our toast a flip. Oh, that kind of worked. We're not going to try that ever again. That's what we do about burning my fingies. Hey, I did it. Now I'm just going to toast the other side. Our bread is now toasted on both sides, so I'm going to take it off to cool. One thing I should let you know, though. Do not put it on a cutting board to let it cool because that's how you get, that's how you ruin this crispy exterior. All that moisture that's, or all that steam that's coming off of the bread is going to make it soggy. So what, our, what I recommend you do is you take a wire rack, just like cool on that. Next step is that we're going to re-lubricate our pan. Take our turkey slices. And just fry them for a little bit. We want to warm them up, and you also want to get a nice golden crispy exterior on that turkey. Since the turkey is already fully cooked, it's only going to take about a couple minutes for the uh, side to get crispy. So next we're just going to flip it. And you can see that nice golden brown color on there. Once we do flip these, we're going to move them to the side, because now, once we re-oil re this area, we're going to take that stuffing patty that we made, and plop it down. As you're cooking that stuffing, you're going to want to make sure that it stays together. Once it's crispy on one end, you're just going to shove your spatula under there, and give it a good flip, and hopefully it all stays together. One, two, three. Hey, now well, kind of. But if you can see on camera, we have a nice golden brown skin on the top of the stuffing. So it's gonna let it cook for one to two minutes on the other side. And these, this turkey is just about done. Our proteins and carbs are still warming up, so now we're just gonna go ahead and prepare our other carbs. So on one piece of bread, our sweet potato. Let's give it a good schmear on one side. My mouth is watering. I don't know if your guys' is or if you even like turkey at all, but I am hungry. And on the other side, take our cranberry sauce. I cannot speak today. I apologize. Good schmear on there. Uh, kinda. Stuff is a little uh, unyieldy. Now, on one side of the bread, we're gonna take our cooked turkey, plop it down on there. Later, if you would like, you don't have to be as fancy as I am, but these are some fairly big pieces. Take some of our warmed gravy, 
Put some down there. Fuck, I'm just gonna pour it on. Cause I love this stuff. Give a good smear. Make sure it's all fully incorporated. Make sure none of it falls down the sides. We are still on the wire rack after all. Then we take our stuffing, plop it on the top there. Make sure to get any other pieces that crumbled apart. Finally, we'll take some of our kale, flap it on, and with that, you have just completed your Thanksgiving leftover sandwich. Kind of a looker, isn't it? But now, we're going to do the cross section. This is something that I am looking forward to. Hopefully, none of that shoots out. Let's give it a look-see. Look at that I am excited. Oh my goodness. Let's go ahead and give this a taste. Mm. That is delicious. Tastes a lot of gravy. That's my fault. I put a lot of gravy on there. That is very good. I hate to toot my own horn, but that is good. So, in conclusion, if you like this video, please share it with your friends, your family. Um, let me know if you decide to make this sandwich, or if you have any tips or tricks. If you do it, if you, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, thank you all for watching, and I hope you have a good day.